So in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about single slit diffraction. So what you should already know is that when waves pass through slits that are of similar size to their wavelength, the wave is going to diffract, which means essentially that it's going to spread out. And you can see that in this diagram here. You can see the waves coming in nice and uniform, but then when they go through the side, we've got them bent and or diffracted and spread out like this. Now if you to do with this with light and you put a screen on the other side, there are some key observations that you get. So, first thing is, at the center here, you get an extremely bright, extremely intense peak of light. So you observe this by, you'd see a fringe on your screen. And a key thing to note, as you can see from these arrows here, is that the central peak is double the width of any other fringe on your screen. So, and so that's with a single slip. The other thing to note is that this central one here is the most intense. And you can see that by the height of the peak. So what this peak is actually plotting is the light intensity. So that you get the most at this central here. And like it says here, you have double width for the central fringe. And the other th key thing to know is what happens as you change to the different colors of light. So ultraviolet has a short wavelength, which means it un um, has a smaller angle of a diffraction. And we give that the set theta you might be pretty used to. So what would you see in that case? Well, the peaks or the fringes would be a lot closer together because you get, so essentially this is the theta in here on the diagram, so down here. This would be smaller, so you'd expect to see the peak sort of here instead of where it is here. So conversely, red has the longest of all the visible. So it's got a long wavelength, which means it has a bigger angle of diffraction or a bigger theta. So you'd expect to see a red uh, peak wider like this, and you'd expect to see a blue-violet peak sort of here. So you, with red, the fringes are more spaced out, with the violet, with the, I don't know why it says ultraviolet there, I was going a bit crazy. So we're just talking about visible spectrum here. So the violets, the blues, you'd expect to see here. Now this all comes into play when you have white light being shone through. Because, first of all, you get a white, bright, central fringe. So this one here will end up being white. This is because to form this one, you have the zero angle, zero order, so the zero angle of diffraction here. So none of the colors separate, so you, this stays white. And then further out, what you get is on the fringes is red on the outside of the subsequent fringes because it's diffracted by the biggest angle, and then you get the violet blue on the inside of the peaks. So, so to draw like what that looks like, it's sort of like your subsequent peaks would look something like this, and then with a full spectrum in between. pretty illegible over there, but I just said it, so I shouldn't bring it too much. So you get this blue, violet here, the red on the here, and then the full spectrum between, and this peak would go in here, so that matches up with that. So that's what you would see with single slit diffraction, and now I'm going to move on to 
double slit in the next video I'm going to make.